I love writing musicals because I like to write music and when I write a musical, I can write an entire piece, a long work, you know, that, that tells a story. I mean, when I write a song, it's just a three minute song. But when I write a musical, I can expand my ideas and the entire musical becomes one work. When I develop my own shows, for example, Forbidden City, I got the idea when I was in China. And then I approach collab my collaborators. We worked on it together. So I, I don't write the whole thing, although I have done before. But when I co collaborate, I work with other writers and we come together and I, I contribute to create the story. Um, I don't force my way into that process because I think sometimes you have, you know, often you have to leave uh, the, the experts to do what they do best. But uh, if the idea is mine in the first place, I will contribute. And then when the idea and the story is written and everything is formed, then I come in and I write the music. And then come the workshops. So in the workshops, our role then is to listen to what we've written. We read, we read, we sing. Uh, quite often, we do a read where I sing everybody's song and that's quite tiring. Uh, but that's the only way we can get to hear the whole work without hiring an entire cast. And we shape the work further and once that's ready, then we do a workshop with a cast. And that's also exciting because that's the first time you see it come to life. And there, from there, there is the, the kind of the painful process of shaping it and tightening it. Painful to me because quite often certain songs get thrown out because they are superfluous to the story, um, they, they, don't, they don't push the story along, but then they could be beautiful songs, songs that you love, but you just have to let go of them. And, um, you know, sometimes the story completely changes, and when the story changes, new songs are required, so you have to write more, more things. So this, this process can be, can be tricky, um, but then, of course, you know, most of the time you end up with a work that you're really proud of.